Hey guys, today I'm doing April favorites and I can't believe that it is May already. That is freaking amazing because I have some big plans and they involve you guys. So that's that's going to be a separate video though. I've got to stay focused. We are going to be doing April favorites and I've got my little basket of goodies here. And let's see, that's the products. I'm going to start with eyes first because I've been getting tons of questions about what eye makeup I'm wearing um, pretty much all month and it's been the same look like all month long. So this is going to be really simple. Now I've already done a tutorial and I'll go actually go in like post that as, I don't know, a video response or I'll post the link down in the down bar um, in case you missed it. But it's my everyday smoky eye. These are the products that I've been using the most. It's Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Lemon Drop, which this I've been working on forever, like two or three years or something now. It's just crazy. Probably like two years, but it's like taking forever to use up. Hopefully it's almost gone and that'll show up in one of my, um, one of my upcoming empties videos. So this is my Too Faced uh, Summer Eye Palette. Um, they did re-release this this year, so it's different packaging, but same awesome colors inside. So the look I've been doing and wearing most is Toasted Coconut with Chocolate Sun and a little of uh, Sugar Sand at the tear duct area. So that is, that's been like my go-to makeup look, like every day that I've worn makeup. Oh, wait, I do have one NYX eyeshadow, which this has been my favorite brow highlight. I have totally fallen in love with this, and it's such a simple little you know, plain looking eyeshadow, but it just gives the most gorgeous glow without looking too white or frosty or whatever. It just works really well for medium skin tones. This is Nude, and that is my new favorite brow highlight. I have my MAC palette here, which actually has my favorite brow product of the month, which is MAC Omega. This is one of my first, um, like, eyeshadow, like, eyebrow products. It was an eyeshadow that I fell in love with. And I, I just think that it works, it works with me again. Like I felt like for a little while maybe it wasn't um, dark enough or something, I don't know. But I've gone back to it and I just feel like it works with my new hair color, so. Oh, I thought I was done with eyes, but I do have one more product. This is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Baked. I love this for the waterline. It just gives such a glowy, just a beautiful summery kind of look. And it's perfect if you're doing like a summer sort of smoky eye, but you just want that kind of bronze goddess sort of look, that will give it to you. That is a freaking amazing color. And then I do have two foundations, which I don't know how I ended up with two in this one month period. I guess I've just been switching back and forth, but they're both favorites. And this is my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. I talk about this one all the time because I've been using it the most, um, especially this year. And I think that it's almost gone. So yeah, hopefully that'll make it into my empties soon too. And so once I finish that up, I'm gonna be switching to this one, which is my Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup in nine neutral. And this is another awesome foundation. And I find that for me, they just kind of wear, they sort of wear similar, but I feel like this one just really gives a nice glow to the skin. So I, I just think that, yeah, that Clinique Stay Matte is just an awesome foundation. So I'm so stoked that I found that. And oops, my phone, hold on, it might be Michael calling. Uh, he is he is out working right now. Okay, uh, I, think, I think we're good. Um, Oh, and I should mention my favorite brush because I always forget to talk about brushes and I always love to hear about what, uh, you know, other people's favorite brushes are. So I thought I'd go and mention those this time. Um, I use my Sedona Lace brushes all the time. You guys always see them in my tutorials. But this one is my all-time favorite foundation brush and I have a ton of foundation brushes. But this is the one that I, I swear I will freak out if it's dirty and I can't use it because I just, I want to use it every single time. Like over all my other ones. So this is the uh, 480. And these pink ones are from their Midnight Lace collection. And of course you guys know I love my pink. But that one, I don't love it just because it's pink. I love it because it's very short. It's super, super densely packed but it doesn't take forever to dry how I have, um, I have a Sigma brush and I feel like it takes like days to dry. And I don't know if it's just mine. <laughs> I don't know, you guys can let me know. It's the only one I have, so it's the only one I have to compare it um, against my Sonoma Lace ones. So I don't know, um, people have asked if I would do a comparison, so maybe I'll do that sometime. But then again, I only have the one Sigma brush, so I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, so that's an awesome foundation brush. I just love because it just buffs it in just perfectly and it's small enough where it can get into like the little areas and like, you know, around the hairline really easily without, you know, smudging brows or anything like that. And this is another um, Sonoma Lace, Midnight Lace brush and it's just a big fluffy powder brush. I don't ever use it for powder. I use it for blush 
and I just love that I can tap in. In fact, here's my favorite blush right now. This is my Tarte Amazonian Clay blur, uh, blah, Brush Blush. What am I talking about here? This is my Tarte Blush in Blissful that I've been wearing all month. Oh, was I blinding you? Sorry. That I've been wearing all month. And so I'll just tap into that and just, it, like, I don't have to hardly, like, move at all. I just, like, tap it right where I want it, and it just, like, just like blends in beautifully. So that one is awesome for my blush application. And then for bronzer, I have been loving this new one. Now this is a, a really new one, so I haven't got to wear it all month long. But um, yeah, it's the Buxom Hot Escapes bronzer. This was in my last haul, and it's in Maldives. And it's just a beautiful bronzer. Every time I open it up, it just, it just makes me feel so good because it smells like toasted coconut. And I don't know if, you know, if any of you guys out there believe in the effects of aromatherapy. I never used to until, I don't know, maybe a couple of years ago. And then I really started believing, you know, wow, the scents can really make you feel good. It can really affect your emotions and be uplifting. Uh, it's just, it's just amazing. So coconut, vanilla, those kind of scents really, I find, just make me feel so good. And they just, I don't know, I feel like it makes my day better. Just being able to smell those kind of scents around me. Um, I think we are almost, oh wait, we do have lip products. Okay, we're, we're getting there. So I've got um, this polish that I'm wearing right now. I've been wearing also um, in several videos. This is the Zoya Mickey. It's one of their new ones and it's from their stunning collection. So one of the ones that just came out. I love that pink flamingo coral shade. It's just, oh, it's just so pretty. So I always love my corals, but that one is like a new favorite. For lips, I've been wearing the same look pretty much the entire month and I have been loving it. It's just a nice medium nude with a little bit of glowiness to it. So how I've been doing that, this is like this is like one of my all-time favorite lip combinations right now, which I really should do a, a lip combo favorites video or something separately. But I've got to share this right now because this is part of my monthly favorites. This is Sydney, Buxom Sydney. I talk about this a lot and it is a beautiful medium tone nude. It's just, it's just gorgeous. I just find that this is a really flattering type of nude because it doesn't wash you out. There's so many of those nudes and we get all excited about them, but then it turns out that, you know, you gotta kind of manipulate it always to make it look a little better. With this one, you can actually just swipe it right on and it looks great. And then um, over the top of that, I've been using this MAC gel, which is another, it's an old flame. It's a old lipstick that I have been loving. Like, oh, well, I've, I've loved it for years, but I've kind of like fallen back in love with it again. I just pulled it out of my drawer because I was shopping my stash and I, I've missed it. How I have missed my beautiful luscious MAC gel. And it's just a glow. So it is considered, yeah, it's considered a frost, but um, I just like to apply it over top of the Buxom Sydney and it just gives that little bit of glow instead of using a lip gloss because I typically don't, I don't actually love lip gloss. Like, I, it doesn't matter if it's like, you know, non-sticky, sticky, sticky it, it just doesn't matter. That wet feeling on my lips, I'm not really that fond of. However, I do like the Buxom lip glosses, but those are pretty much the only ones that I, I reach for anymore. Um, and then for lip liner, I've been wearing, I, well, I kind of just grab whatever one's closest to me um, that'll, that'll match, you know. So basically my, my main nudes lately have been the Too Faced. Um, this is the Perfect Lips. Uh, where's the color though? It's the nude one. It's Perfect Nude. I don't know why I can't remember that. We'll do a little bit of a swatch there, and there it is. And it is a lovely, lovely lip liner, and it matches perfectly. And then uh, sometimes I'll reach for a Victoria's Secret nude lip liner, which they still carry this color. They just changed the name of uh, when they updated their packaging and all that on their makeup. So I think it's now called like Spice or something like that. And then uh, MAC Strip Down, which is another old flame, an old favorite of mine. And this is one that, well, I'm sure you've all seen it, but you know, it's a it's a darker nude with a brown undertone, which I love. I love a little bit of a brown undertone just because, you know, I don't always want like a pink tone or a peach tone. Sometimes I just want it really, really neutral. So that's why I love uh, Max Strip Down. And that is pretty much everything. I think, um, I think, oh, I do have, I guess, uh, some like odd, odd sort of favorites here. Oh, like here's one. Here's an odd favorite. Yes, grapefruit. I've been totally hooked on grapefruit. I've been eating one every single morning before breakfast. It's sort of like a, like a, I don't know, like a, a pre-breakfast snack sort of thing. So I've, I've totally loved that. And it just, I don't know, I feel like it gives me more energy in the morning. Like, I don't know, something about that citrus just really perks you up. And my woolly mammoth is falling down. So I'm going to set that there. Because if I don't have my woolly mammoth behind me, 
Look, I'm like, I'm like way back here. This is like, this is like a, a lounge chair here. It's not for like sitting up straight and talking to a camera. That's why I always have to have something behind me, holding me up. Um, mint is another color. Sorry, I got off track there for a minute. Mint, I have been hooked on, well, my, my coral too. I'm always hooked on coral, but especially mint lately. Loving that this, this whole year pretty much. So it's not really a favorite of the month, it's like a favorite of this year. And then for sunglasses, I did actually switch out my sunglasses and I'm now in love with these again. The Maui Gym sunglasses, love those. I feel like they're like the absolute best. And I wish that they would make more fun, girly styles. You know, like, I don't know, like, I don't want to say trendier styles, but I wish they would just make more styles for women that are just, you know, look, I don't know, classy. So. These are just like my wraparound ones. I think the name is Maka on them. I'm not sure. I, I don't quote me on that, something like that. But I just love them because they're big and they kind of wrap around so it like helps protect, you know, from the light. And so anyone who lives by the ocean or by a lot of glare, I, it's really necessary to have a good pair of polarized sunglasses protecting your eyes. Otherwise you'll end up with all those little fine lines, you know, under the eyes and stuff. And oh, oh we don't like that at all. Okay, uh, I think that's everything. I'm gonna let you guys go and I've got to get back to work now. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.